Okay, Mr. Chairman. The December 14th, 2021 meeting of the Long Hill Planning Board is called to order <clears throat> at 7.32. And before we read the announcements, I see a number of folks who are watching this. The Delaware Avenue hearing will not be held tonight. So if you're watching because you wanna hear Delaware Avenue, you might as well drop off now. That will be postponed until January or February. There'll be more notices posted on that and more. Actually, agendas. Mr. Chair, actually, actually, Mr. Chairman, they asked for approximately four to six months delay. Okay. So, so you folks don't have to stay. Uh, let's have the notices, Deborah. Yes. Number one, call to order and statement of compliance. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by posting a copy of the public meeting dates on the Municipal Bulletin Board and website, by sending a copy to the Echo Sentinel newspaper and by filing a copy with the Municipal Clerk. Number two, standard board procedures. Any hearing conducted by the board is a quasi-judicial proceeding. Any questions or comments must be limited to issues that are relevant to what the board may legally consider in reaching a decision. And decorum appropriate to a judicial hearing must be maintained at all times. Number three, meeting cutoff announcement is made that as a matter of procedure is the intention of the planning board not to continue any matter past 10.30 p.m. at any regular or special meeting of the board unless a motion is passed by the members then present to extend the meeting to a later specified cutoff time. All right, let me put up the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, what, some, it's giving me a notice. Okay, that's giving weird. Me a notice. Okay, that's weird. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. There it is. Pledge of Allegiance <laughs> to the flag. The flag. The United States of America. America. And to, and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, stands, one nation, one nation under God, God and and liberty, and justice for all. Amen. Okay. All right. Now let's do the roll call. Deputy Mayor Ray. Present. Thank you. Committeeman Verleza. Present. Ms. Dill. Present. Mr. Hans is excused tonight. Mr. Malinowski. Here. Mr. File. Here. Mr. Richardson. Here. Vice Chairman Jones. Here. Chairman Sandow. Here. Chairman, we have a quorum. First item on the agenda is the application for block 13302, lot 16.01 on Delaware Avenue. And at this point, I will turn the meeting over to Mr. Kaplan to explain where we stand. Uh, right now, the applicant has made uh, a request to adjourn this matter. Uh, as of this evening's hearing, we've our office has reviewed the, the notice for both content and timeliness but the content and timeliness are satisfactory. At this time, we're gonna adjourn this meeting, this hearing on this application until January 25th. Not to say that the January 25th meeting is gonna take place on this hearing, but that is a date that we're gonna to adjourn to at this time. So on January 25th, we can find the appropriate date to then again adjourn this, carry it one more time again without notice. As notice right now, is sufficient. So January 25th will be the next hearing, same time as of right now. We will be um, remote, I believe. If anything changes, you will find that on the internet. So right now, this application is going to be carried till January 25th without any further notice. Uh, for those of you who might be interested, our um, board engineer found a couple of issues. You have her report. This is uh, item number two is the showstopper. And you can read that at your leisure. But in the meantime, we're going to postpone the hearing. And can I have a motion as Mr. Kaplan described it? So moved as stated by Mr. Kaplan. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, the, the next item on the agenda 
is the redevelopment, the area in need of redevelopment study, which we heard at our last meeting on November 23. And once again, I will turn it over to Mr. Kaplan to introduce the process that we have to go through tonight. Um, Jessica is here in case you have any questions for her after you have read the final resolution. Go ahead, John. As stated by the chair, uh, this matter was previously discussed by the board. And what we have before us tonight is just a red resolution confirming the board's finding and recommendation back to the township committee that uh, based on the study and the testimony of Ms. Caldwell, that the board recommends that uh, the property 1106, 1122 Valley Road, block 11401, lot seven, is an area in need of redevelopment. And this board via this resolution will be recommending to the township committee that, uh, that the township committee find this area to be an area in need of redevelopment. Everybody has the resolution and uh, has reviewed it. Uh, so this evening we're asking that the resolution be adopted with one minor change. And that change is gonna be in the title of the resolution where it says designated as an non-condemnation area pursuant. In there, we're gonna change that to non-condemnation redevelopment area pursuant to the local redevelopment and housing. So as stated by the chair, this was previously discussed and this resolution merely confirms uh, the findings of Ms. Caldwell and the recommendation to the Township Committee. For those of you who are looking at the last page, we added a new column in the roll call for the benefit of Ms. Dill who is only half eligible to vote because she left the hearing early. I believe everybody else was present and voted in favor of the report. And so everybody who was at this meeting is eligible to vote. We have a roll call. Oh, we need a motion first to introduce the Mr. resolution. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Mr. Chairman. I just have one question. Um, or clarification on one of the uh, sentences in here. I think it might need a change. I'm sorry, I just read it through again and I, I just picked this up. Um, on page seven, item number 17, about halfway down uh, through the paragraph where uh, the sentence starts, she also opined that the discontinuance of the use has allowed both the car wash use and the car wash structures to fall into a great state of repair as to be untenable. Should that be a state of disrepair? Sure because looks like end, it. At the yeah. end of that, at the end of that, or number 18, it does say disrepair. The sentence is almost repeated with disrepair in there. Is that one possible correction that would have to be made? Yes, we can make that correction. Okay, I just want to make sure I was reading it right. John, will you be sure that that's put into the correction that's going out tomorrow morning? Absolutely, Mr. Chair. Thank you. How did we all miss that? Easy. Anybody else have better eyes than Jessica and I? Um, Dennis, before you call a motion, I'm looking at the last page and I'm just seeing my name listed like, so just tell me, tell me what, how you want me to, um, not eligible, not eligible. That's what it is. You don't have to abstain and you're not absent. So, okay. I just want to make sure you, you also like didn't participate in the vote. So you're not eligible no for problem. this resolution. Okay. Thank you. All right, now can I have a motion to adopt this re, uh, resolution and memorialization of the hearing as amended by Mr. Malinowski? So moved. I, I think Mr. File, wait. Mr. Sorry, File. No, no problem. I was just gonna. All right, so who wants to be the first and the second? Well, let, 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 uh, let Deputy, Deputy Mayor. Mayor? 
yeah, the, the, uh, yeah. Okay, and Mr. Thanks, Fowler, you can be the second. I'll okay. Do, <laughs> I'll, okay. Front line. I'll, do, I'll do front line. I'll do front <laughs> Okay, Deputy Mayor Ray. Yes. And Mr. File. Yes. Committee Member Yes. Mr. Velez, uh, Mr. Malinowski. Yes. Mr. Richardson. Yes. Vice Chairman Jones. Yes. Chairman Sandow. Yes. Motion carries. All right. Excellent. And Mr. Malinowski, thank you for catching that. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes. So there was a one hangover question from uh, the last time we had a meeting with regards to the redevelopment zone. It was the um, a question going back to the uh, township committee with regards to expanding to the properties left and right uh, and to be incorporated. Did we get any kind of feedback back from the township committee? Um, no feedback as yet. Okay. Um, yeah. Looking at the map one more time, uh, most of you don't know that there is a vacant lot to the east. Oh, we know. You know that. We know that. Yep. The, the, but, Prima, so the Primavera parking lot. That's between Primavera and the property in, in question of the redevelopment zone. There's a sliver that goes up through there. Yeah. So just wondering, is, is it going to come back and we're going to have to now relook at this to rezone all of that? I would guess the township committee will give us all the direction that we need when they get good and ready. Is that correct? Ab absolutely, Dennis. Uh, in our infinite wisdom, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I think it was. I think it was just a, a, a good idea that came up uh, from members of the board to kind of look at it holistically, uh, and, and maybe even looking a little outside the box to be uh, uh, to look at properties on how we can uh, make that side of the street much more presentable, much more eye appealing, um, and, and good use of property and good use of uh, land. Uh, and if there's something else we're gonna, we want to do with it, then that should be um, you know explored as well. Too many eyesores on that side of the road. I do believe that Dr. Ray and Mr. Beleza have taken note of that. Right of that. Thank you. All right. Uh, John? Yes. And Jessica, we thank you very much for attending tonight. The rest of the meeting is going to go quickly, and it's just administrative business. All right. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. The next item on the agenda is meeting minutes. We have none to discuss, so we're going to defer that to January. And in terms of uh, business for discussion, we had agreed back in September that meetings through the end of the year would be on Zoom. This board has one more meeting left in it and that's the reorganization meeting on January 11th. And if that is to be on Zoom, we'll need a resolution to do that. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The, the, next, the next item on the agenda is something that you should be aware of. I asked Deborah that when she writes the resolution for the reorg meeting that will schedule our meetings through next year, that we put a footnote on the bottom of that resolution that says all meetings will be on Zoom until the town administration removes the mask limitation in town hall. That way we don't have to discuss it. It'll just sort of automatically switch back to the courtroom whenever the mask restriction is lifted. Any discussion? I mean, Dennis, do you want to, do you want to tie it to that or, uh, you know, 
what if the mask mandate isn't lifted, you know, for another year, say, you know, uh, and and but you know, maybe the feeling at the board that that at some point that maybe you know, you know, masks be damned, they're going to get to get want to get together in person. Um, would we would we want to just uh, give us that kind of freedom? Well, I have a sense that the members of the most of the members of the board would uh, who have a strong opinion are of the opinion that they don't want to wear masks in the courtroom. And so I think the gating issue is masks. Uh, although if everybody wants to discuss it on a meeting by meeting basis, I suppose we could do that too. I was just trying to make it easier by passing a resolution in January tying it to masks and then we don't have to tie it to talk about it anymore. Well, we could always pass the resolution and untie it at our at our leisure. Whenever okay. All right. Well, uh, but instead of doing meeting by meeting, we need to do like a block of time only because if I'm do if by quarter. I'm, right, because if I'm if I'm dictating to applicants who have to put out notice, I have to know well in advance if it's do by quarter. Be, oh, do do to June. The half year, yeah. Well, notices will be dependent upon whatever the mask rule is at the time the notice has to be published. Right. If, if someone publishes a notice for Zoom and then the mask rule is lifted, we'll have to hold that hearing on Zoom if that's the way it's been noticed. Okay. And no one will publish a meeting, a courtroom notice, until after the, the mask rule has been lifted. And I assume it will be lifted sooner or later. Anyone else want to discuss that? Otherwise, we'll just vote on it when we see the resolution come across the meeting agenda on January 11. Fine. Okay, uh, are there any committee reports that anyone would like to offer? Nope. Does anyone have any other business tonight? There's one thing, Dennis, um, I'd just like to propose, I guess, uh, you know, it's still, the master plan is still something that, that, that um, is of concern to me. And so, I mean, would anybody be interested in kind of getting together even, I'm not, want, I'm not saying we form a master plan subcommittee, that's the, it would just be, um, you know, a, 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 a number of us who are kind of interested in um, how we should tackle it, uh, get together for an hour or two over the next, you know, week or two, whenever we can. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, just to uh, uh, discuss our ideas on it, because it, it, you know, as I've said before, we're we were over the last seven or eight years, we seem to have hit an impasse, um, and I, and I, you know, I, I I believe it's because of uh, the way that we've been tackling it, and so I would be interested just to uh, get together with a group of us who might see a path forward where we could actually, you know come to um, some common elements um, in, 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 in the way we approach it and that way be able to accelerate it and maybe uh, see what we can do about finishing it up this year. I mean, next year. Brendan, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to volunteer to be part of that. Well, I, I, excuse the interruption, Alan, but we did back in June identify some hotspots and ask members of the uh, board to make proposals for discussion of those hotspots. And I'm still waiting for three of those to come in. This goes, Mr. Chairman, this goes way beyond hotspots. Um, I, I, several of us, uh, board, several of the board members have had a discussion about that. And I'd certainly be, be very happy to sit down with, uh, with Deputy Mayor Ray to, uh, to discuss this further. Okay. And, and Dennis, would you be interested? Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. Uh, my only concern is that we uh, we settle the uh, 
policy matters that have uh, caused us so much discussion over the years and never resolved them. I'd like to resolve those critical issues before we set start writing, because once we start writing, those critical issues are going to come back to kill us like they have every time we brought proposals to the board. Uh, we wind up having the same discussion over and over again, which is why I'd like to resolve those issues. We've pretty much resolved how to handle Valley Road and Main Avenue, uh, but we've still got a few more that are open items. Uh, Mr. Richardson has uh, committed to bring uh, his writing to us at the, our next meeting. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we need to figure out how to get those issues onto the table, discussed, resolved, and then we can start writing and it should fall into place very easily. And then I'm also, I'm unsure of my schedule for the next couple of weeks, but if you send me, you know, the time you decide, I'll, I'll try to make it also. Okay. I, I can always set up Zoom meetings for everyone too. Okay, great. And I mean, Dawn, did you? I would be happy. I, yeah, I'd mentioned that I'd be happy to join yeah. too. And, you know, I, I would love to find a in-person, just grab a cup of coffee at the Millington Cafe or someplace that we could. I think it should be in-person as well. Face-to-face. I mean, okay. I appreciate Zoom, but I think this would be a good face-to-face -face gathering. All right. yeah. yeah, just keep in mind that then you have four members that are interested. And if we have, we can't have any more without yeah. having a quorum. Well, I know, before you get a quorum. Yeah, right. so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a definite either. It depends on. Okay. So if we have Ms. Chairman Sandow, Mr. Richardson, Deputy Mayor Ray, and Mr. File, you have four of them right there. Yeah. Okay. And as our mics. That's and, your max. And you should all be aware, as I painfully discovered a week ago, the Milling King Cafe doesn't even open till eight o'clock in the morning. So if you're an early commuter, you can't get coffee. <laughs> That's fine with me. <laughs> Panera bread, wherever. <laughs> yeah. I'm still in Green Pond, so whenever, you know. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be in the morning. I mean, we can no, do it no, in the evening. Anytime. I just I, I, I tend yeah. to be fr I tend to be fresher in the morning. I'd like to be fresh for this discussion. <laughs> I can make a morning meeting. Just let me know when. Uh, not, not Christmas. What, not what Christmas. about yeah. what about this Friday, three days from now, eight o'clock? Check your calendars. Okay. I can do that. Friday works for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. See you there. Yeah. We so where are we meeting? At the Millington? Millington Cafe, 8 o'clock. Got it. Got it. This Friday, sold. Yeah, I, I can't attend morning, so that, that's what I mean. My schedule's out. <clears throat> so I'm sure yeah. I'll... We'll send you the cliff notes. There you go. We'll, we'll bring you in on the next round. Okay. This yeah, would be a rotating committee. <laughs> We're going to get everything resolved on Friday, Dennis. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If somebody, somebody goes down, down, if somebody goes down, pick up their gun, pick it up, and keep going up the hill, right? <laughs> <laughs> Any other items of business that you'd like to discuss tonight? I want you to notice where I am at for this meeting. Nice at least try. The, at least the photograph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You stole the town seal. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who'd rather see my turkeys, there they are. There you go. There you are. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we are finished with business for the year. For the year, Merry Christmas. We're done. That's it for the year. Christmas, wow. Happy New Year. Yeah. Well, Dennis, I, I want to thank you very much for your uh, leadership over this year. Thank you, Dennis. Absolutely. I echo that. Nice job. Thanks, Thank Dennis. you, Dennis. Much. Everybody enjoy the holidays. Yep. Yes. Right. Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas, wait, everyone. Wait. We need a motion to adjourn. So uh -huh. move. <laughs> Second. Second. <laughs> All, All in favor. favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Now Happy we New Year, Merry everyone. Christmas. Happy Merry New Christmas. Year, everyone. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.